Hey everyone, it's Monday the 8th of January and it's now 6.15 in the evening. So, a few days ago, a friend of mine, Kat, she gets a lot of mentions on my channel, <laughs> um, she asked me if I had a favourite locomotive, model locomotive. Well, these are all modelled on real locomotives, so I guess if they're my favourite in model form, they're my favourite in real life as well. Um, I couldn't choose just one, so I thought I'd split this into two different videos. I'm going to do steam in this video, and diesels and electrics and whatnot in an, um, another video. So I've got a bit of a cheat sheet here, I've written down um, some info. Because I don't really know much about them, other than, you know, they go forwards and backwards and choo-choo. <laughs> anyway, I want to start with the smallest, and we'll work up. I can tell you that I have actually picked out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm lucky for some. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'll start with the smallest and we'll work up. So the smallest is the 040. This one is Hornby's 7178-040 Industrial Tank Loco. And my stepdad gave me this one a while back and I absolutely adore this thing. In fact I have got quite a collection of 040 locos and this one is my favourite. I could actually pick one 040. <laughs> um, when it comes to 060s I've actually got a bunch of them. So yeah that is my favourite when it comes to the 040s. Uh, I guess 060s is, would be next. So first one, I've actually got five of these, actually 14, no, no I was right, 13, maths never was my strong point. <laughs> so the first one is the old Triang Jinty. Absolutely adore this thing, and it is the early version, I've got later versions, I've got three later versions over here, but yeah, I really do like that one, that's a very robust, almost bulletproof little model that one. Next up is the LBC 100 Class E2 060T. And I like this one because I really like the colours of it. I've got a few similar looking ones down here but they are all actually different. Yeah. I've actually just realised I've put that much detail on this one. Look, can you see that little pipe going between the cab and the... I'm assuming that's the pressure, pressure relief valve thingies on there. Just looks like one big thing. A little whistle on the roof. Ooh. The roof could do the clean. There's some muck or something on there. Okay, I'm going to put them back in the box, I think as we go along. Next up is the LMS 7414 3F Jinty, so it's another Jinty. It's a 3F Jinty. This is also Hornby. I think all of these are actually Hornby. No, actually I'm telling lies. There's two here which are Airfix. Now, when it comes to the LMS, I like the burgundy, black and gold colours. So I'm not as fond as the LMS black, but I do like these ones. And I've actually got one more in this uh, livery as well. Right, I think this one is the next one, isn't it? Yep. LNER 8477, class J83. I 
don't know why, I just really like 060 locomotives. I've actually got an older one of these in the box as well. It's here actually. I just realised I've got a uh, coupling missing off the front of that one. Yeah, that, see, that one's got the green wheels and that one's got black. Maybe it's not even on the right base. Yeah, screws in exactly the same place. Well, the bases do look... I thought they were different. I don't know, maybe one is later than the other. Like I said, I don't know a great deal about the models or the real things. Uh, one more 060. And that is the GWR Class 57 Pannier Tank. I haven't got many Pannier Tanks. I've got two of these. Just like I've got two of the um, LMS 3F Ginnies. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. I haven't got many... Uh, Pannier your tanks. Got one here where the body keeps coming off, so I can't get hold of that with one hand. The other one I've got of these, uh, the green is different, but I believe they are both Hornby. Now both GWRs. Oh yeah, that's the one I fixed with a piece of cardboard acting as the insulator because I couldn't find one. So I literally just got a piece of cardboard and a craft knife and just made an insulator and it's worked really really well. If you look at the two here you see that one's a darker green to that one. In fact that brass dough or thingy there, I don't know what it's called, doesn't look as good as this one. I think this one looks more realistic. Yeah, I believe they are both Hornby. No Hornby couplings on anyway. Right. I think we'll go for this one next. Oh, I've buried my cheat sheet. Hang on a minute, I'm going to move the camera around because I keep disappearing. This is an Airfix N2. I've actually got two of these now, the other one's got a busted roof. I did manage to glue it back on, but it still looks a bit... Yeah. Yep, the Airfix Class N2. Which is an 062 locomotive. So we've got no wheels at the front, six drive wheels, and two at the back. So it's an 062. Next one is actually the only boxed one I'm showing you because it's the only one I've got as a favourite in a box. I've just realised it's upside down, and that is the 4F Fowler from Airfix. Absolutely adore this thing. Always been a very good runner for me. I mean, I've always been able to take it straight out of this box and put it straight on the layer, and it's just worked with no problems. I've just realised I am going to have to take a few out of this box to get this in. I may actually just have to rearrange a few. I still got hold of that one with a loose body. By the body. Can I get away with that gap? I hope so. Yep. I only just squeezed past Thomas. I've only got the Thomas ones in the collection because it's just a bit of fun. I've already got two Thomases and a Percy and I don't know where Percy is at the minute. I've buried him somewhere. Actually, Percy seems to have done a disappearing act. He's bright green, so I can't miss him. 
But apparently I can, because I can't see them in the box. So we've done that so. I'm going to see both of my Thomases, because I've got an 060 Thomas and an 040 Thomas. That's it. No bro... Do you know why I couldn't find him? He was in my hand. That's why I couldn't find him. Shush. I know what you're all thinking. Because <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> right. Put some of these back in. I had to put those other four locomotives in the box anyway, so I thought I might as well do this all at the same time. Right. Now the next one, I've actually got two of in two. Well, actually I've got three of in three different colours. But once a keen on the green one, I don't like it in the green. But I like it in both BR black and BR blue. So here's the black version. The B12, 6165, uh, a 460. No, I think I'm going to struggle getting these in here. And here's the blue one. This all started because I've got a job lot of locomotives, I believe, at a car boot sale. And I want to get the blue one working. Yeah, that's what I got. The blue one at the car boot sale. Want to get that working. <laughs> and ended up buying one of each colour. I still got the blue one working actually, so in fact they all work. Right. Just had to refresh my memory on this one. So we've now got a 440. Is that the 3F? That's well, a 4P. Nice little 4P 040 in LMS livery. Lovely little thing that runs beautifully as well. If you're hearing lots of running about in the background, that is literally just snowy, just chanting about like a start raving lunatic. I'm seriously struggling to get these in this box. I might have to do a bit of rearranging off camera. I think I'm going to get them in, but I'm just not going to get those in. Let's do this one. This is the most recent purchase, but I really, really do adore this one. The Exeter. Class 21C101. That's all the information I can find, and it's for the southern lines. And it's southern. But I do like the shade of green of the southern lines. And I just really love the design of this loco. Oh, it's sort of square tank and whatnot. Probably not very aerodynamic. But, I do like it. I know diddly squat about the southern lines. I do know though, and I've said this in the other videos, that that low coat is quite a heavy one. Right, I'm going to just throw in a bonus one here. Because it's the only boxed 040 that I've got. I'd actually forgotten about it until I now looked at it. British Rail 040 Locomotive Club Special. Oh yeah, because I think I had to join the Hornby Club to actually get that. I think I'm just going to stack those two separately. Right. No, actually there would be 50 locos because there's one over there that I forgot. So we've now got the Britannia, which is a 4627MT. In uh, BR Green. It's 
Someone's trying to dig their way through the bathtub from the sounds of it. Right, now, the last one, got to do a little bit of uh, tuning up on this one. Now I could have used the mallard for this. But I'm showing the BR Green one because I actually prefer it in the BR Green. This is one that needs the uh, drive gear sorted out in the tender, which is why I'm not putting it in the box yet. And that has got the Wild Swan. That one. 60021 Wild Swan. One thing I've noticed with the Mallard that actually makes the Mallard different is that all of this bit here, all the drive gear and whatnot, is all covered by like a side skirt, and this one doesn't have it. So there you go. In my collection at least, those are my favourite steam locomotives. So the next video, I'm not sure when that'll be, but the next one I may actually record it tomorrow, see how I feel. I will do all the diesels, which will probably be a few less, on account of I've got way more steam locomotives. It was round the other way when I first started this hobby. Now I've just got this big tub, <laughs> big tote full, and it is full. <laughs> I don't think I can actually squeeze, I might be able to squeeze the wild swan in there um, and still get the lid on, but that is it. I'm not going to get anything else in this box, I'd have to start another one. There you go. Another short video. I'm actually enjoying these shorter videos more than I do the long ones. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you did like the video then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And of course if you did like what you see and you want to see more, I don't just do model railway stuff. I've got a die cast collection I feature, road lamps, probably the oddest hobby of mine. I was going to say Lego but I've got a whole separate channel for that. Um, yeah, I do a bit of this, bit of that, bit of computers, bit of all sorts. Hence why I call the channel what it's called. <laughs> and the fact that I am English. So, Anywho, rambling aside, if you did like what you see then please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you do, don't forget to hit the uh, little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Um, oh yeah, if you check video description, um, I'll leave links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel and the aforementioned Lego channel. And I've got a Discord server, so if you want to come and have a chat on there, feel free to join. Um... And a Twitch channel. And as soon as I've got another web camera, I'm going to start streaming. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye.